Hey guys, hope you're doing well. Uh, today we are going to play a game called Cornhole. And if you have a cornhole set at home, you got it made. You don't really have to make your own cornhole uh, set. Um, just get it out of the garage or wherever you keep it. And uh, you guys, and you know, since you probably already have a set, you kind of know how to play this game. Uh, we are going to focus on the underhand throw today. And um, this is an underhand throwing game. It's a lot of fun. It's played at the beach a lot. It's played at, you know, when you tailgate before football games or soccer games. Uh, it is just uh, a really fun game to play. Now, a lot of times you'll play with four people, uh, but that's okay. If you're by yourself, or your parents are in the other room working, um, we can make it happen with just one person. So we're going to do that today. Now, if you don't have your own cornhole set, have no fear. I'm going to show you how to make your own and make it work. So the first thing you'll need if you're making your own cornhole set is a towel. That's the key thing that you need. Uh, I'm pretty sure everybody has a towel at their house where they're doing their learning. So it's an easy thing to find. Here at school, I didn't have a towel, but I had to sneak into the art room and Miss Hauser did have a towel. Look, you can see her name's even on it. Shh, don't tell Mrs. Hauser that I snuck into her room and took her towel. Shh. So you're gonna take this towel and you're going to lay it out on the floor that you're gonna use. Once you lay your towel out, take a regular sheet of paper and fold it in half. So fold your paper in half, so it'll look like this. Then you're going to place your half of sheet of paper on the top part of your towel, kind of towards the middle. If you've seen a real cornhole, you kind of know exactly where to put it. Let me show you. Here's my towel, and I'm gonna place this right in the middle of the top half. This game can be done inside or outside, depending on what type of equipment that you're using. If you're using the tennis ball that you've been using the last lessons, uh, go outside and do this in your front yard. Uh, this game you can use with a softball as well. So if you're doing this in your living room, uh, obviously use a softball and not a tennis ball. So in this game, you're gonna take your tennis ball if you're outside, or your sock ball if you're inside, and you're going to step, remember, with your opposite foot from the hand that you're throwing. So if I'm right-handed, I'm stepping with my left foot. So don't make it on the same side. So make sure you're stepping with your opposite foot. Your belly button is going to be facing your target always. In this case, your target is the cornhole set, your towel, uh, and Here's our point system. If your ball lands and hits your first bounce on the towel, you get one point. If your ball hits the piece of paper, then you get three points. So you're gonna step forward, throw it, and if it doesn't hit anything on the first bounce, it, it doesn't hit the towel or the paper, you get zero points. If it hits the towel, you get one point. If it hits a piece of paper, you get three points. Younger kids, kindergartners, 
Maybe start out at five steps away and that can be your start line of where you should throw. Obviously, right now I'm only a couple steps away. I'm way too close. Um, older kids, fourth and fifth graders, you guys back it up. You guys should be about 10 steps away at least. So uh, like I said with the other lessons, work at your level. If you're still a beginner at this, scoot up to about five, six, seven steps away from your towel. But if you are more advanced or you're older, you should be working about 10, at least 10 steps away. All right, I'm gonna back up as far as I can. Uh, and as far as I can go is the door, of course. So I'm gonna be by the door. I'm gonna step with my opposite foot, throwing towards and my first hit, as you can see, hit the bottom of the towel. So I get one point on my first throw. My next throw. Oh, I came inches from getting a three pointer, but it bounced right in front of the piece of paper. So another one pointer. So I currently have two points. Yeah. There's a few different ways we're going to play this game. On the first round, see how many points you can get in one minute. And the second way that you're going to play, kind of like our bocce golf game, which I posted in the last lesson, See how many points you can get in 10 throws. If you need to write it down on a sheet of paper, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and then just put your points right beside it and then add up. Now, in this case, unlike bocce golf, you want to have more points. So the more points you have, the better when you're adding up how many points you can get in your 10 throws. The third way I want you to play this game is how many throws will it take you to get to 21 points? So 21 points means you're, you win that game. How many throws will it take you to get to that 21 points? See what happens? Remember, step with your opposite foot, belly button facing your target, Point to your target after you get done throwing. Have fun, guys.